Hi. Is this a bad time? No, not at all. Perfect. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Let's go. Great. So, what is your name? Alicia Prem Kumar. And what do you study at RCSI? I study physiotherapy here at RCSI. And what year are you in? I'm in foundation year. So the beginning of your physio journey. Yep, so excited. Where are you from? Well, I was born in London and then I moved to Dublin, back to Carlo, and now I'm back in Dublin for college. Oh my gosh, you've been everywhere. So I know. Did you move to Dublin this year or do you commute? Yeah, I did. I'm here after college. And is this your first time living away from home? It is. Like It's kind of hard at the beginning, but then you'll get used to it. And how are you finding Dublin life? I love it. So excited to be back. Everything's so accessible. Yeah, so are you able to cook? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Are you able to cook? Cook? Oh no. My, all my friends make fun of me for it. But you know what? I'm able to keep myself alive, so that's all that matters. <laughs> I love it. So, what's your go to dish? Probably salmon and avocado, or if I'm lazy, a bagel. And do you have any hobbies? Yep, singing, dancing, and acting. Wow, a lot. So, how do you balance that with your studies? I would say scheduling, 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 it is key. And also listen to your body. Whenever you're tired when you're studying, take a break and do what your hobbies are. Works every time. That's very good advice. So are you involved in any culture society? I am, Drama Society. I'm actually going to be the director of the musical next year. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. So what has been your favorite memory so far at RCSI? I would say playing Elle Woods in RCSI Drama Society's production of Legally Blonde is actually here in the O'Flanagan Lecture Theatre. So, what is your favourite musical then? Oh, probably everybody's talking about Jamie because it's based on a real story. And uh, what would be your dream role today? Jasmine in Aladdin because she just shows that, you know, you can do whatever you want, even if you're a woman or a man, and you can really go for it. I love that. So, which fictional character do you think you relate to the most then? Probably Tinkerbell. Why is that? <laughs> because she's small, but she's a big personality. So, where are we heading tonight? We are going up to the Movement Lab. And what subjects did you do for the research? So, I did the generic English, Irish, Maths, and also Geography, PE, uh, Biology, and French. And uh, what was your favourite subject? Probably PE or English. And what subject will we never talk about again? French. So, do you have any Leaving Cert tips now that you've gone through it all? Yeah, I would say do your study in little chunks. Obviously, find something that works for you. But when you try to spread it out and do so much a day, you're just going to run yourself down. And it's also not as scary as you think. Don't worry. That's very good advice. So what is the biggest difference, do you think, between secondary school and college? Probably that there is no one to push you. You have to do the study yourself. But there are loads of supports in whatever college you go to. And what has been the hardest of those Probably moving away from home, but like you can see your parents, your friends, your family. You know, it's all about that balance. It's very true. So, why did you want to study physiotherapy in RCSI? Well, I want to work with kids. I wanted to be in the health profession, and I wanted to do a job that was really rewarding. So, physio just stood out to me from day one. Great. So, what are the student supports like in RCSI? Oh, they're amazing. Whether you're feeling stressed or sad, or even if you just want to talk to someone, like there is something there for you. There's the Sarah office, which is actually right here, and also Compass. So, whatever you're feeling, there's something here for you. And do you have any regrets about the decision? No, not at all. And have you always wanted to be a physiotherapist? Well, I actually wanted to do medicine when I was younger because I liked the idea of being a doctor. But then I realized I actually have a fear of blood, so I moved no. over to physiotherapy. <laughs> That's a good choice. So what has been your favorite part of the course so far? Probably we went to Beaumont for a day to do a placement and also working in the movement lab. So fun. And what is one thing you wish you'd known before starting? Probably that you have an exam every Friday, but you learn how to like balance your time, so it's really good. Okay, so you have three le years left of the course. Yeah. What are you most excited about? Definitely the paediatric placement. I love children. Yeah. So yeah. what year do you start placement then? So we start placement in Physio 1 at the end of semester 2. And how long do they last for? So that one is for two weeks. And then for the final two years, we have six more placements, which last for five weeks each. So I can see, are we at the movement lab now? We are. Perfect. Do you want to come on in? Yeah, of course. Hello, Louise. So this is Louise, a lecturer of physiotherapy here at RCSI. Hi, Alicia. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Great. So what do you do here in the movement lab? So we learn basic skills and lots of clinical skills to help with conditions such as lower back pain, lots of sports injuries, neurological conditions. And we also have simulation suites where we learn lots of skills for when we go on clinical placement. 
Amazing. So can you show us around or give us a demonstration? Yes, of course. Louise might help us out there. No problem. Oh, Come on down this way, Alicia. Thank you. Uh, and as you know, we teach lots of basic uh, assessment and treatment skills in this room before you get out to those clinical places. Yeah. <laughs> um, so really simple skills like learning how to assess and treat. Let's focus maybe on what you might do for somebody who has Achilles tendinopathy. Yeah. A really common injury in runners. Uh, we might uh, do basic assessments, looking at videos and getting you to practice them here in the room. Uh, we might look at their running style on the, the treadmill there. Uh, and then we'll get into teaching uh, exercise. And there are lots of exercises that can be really helpful for people with Achilles tendinopathy. So if we're going to teach people exercise, we need to be able to demonstrate. Okay. So do you want to go ahead and yeah, demonstrate? Of course. Let's have a look at eccentric strengthening uh, mm -hmm. to treat a, a, a sore overloaded Achilles tendinopathy. Go ahead and push up on both feet. And then just drop down on really slowly on just the one, nice and slowly. Really drop that heel down below the step level. That's brilliant. And then two feet back on the step to push back up all the way. Go ahead and hold and then slowly drop down on just the one foot. Really nice and controlled. Brilliant. So that's eccentric strengthening. What you might also do is just go up on, up on both feet again and just take off one foot and hold. And that's really nice isometric strengthening and might give some pain relief as well. So if that doesn't help the patient enough, you might also uh, need to use something like shockwave therapy and you'll learn how to use this in this room as well. Okay. Oh, perfect, thank you so much. No problem. Yeah, thank you so much, I've learned so much. So shall we keep going then? Yeah, of course, let's go. Perfect, so how often would you normally be on campus? About three times a week. And where would we usually find you when you're here? Usually in historic quarter. I can bring you now if you want. Great. Is that one of your favourite spots on campus? Oh, 100%. What's the breakdown like in terms of gender in your class? It's pretty 50-50, to be honest. And is there a mix in terms of Irish and international students? Oh, definitely. It's so good because there's so many people from around the world and you get to learn about so many different cultures too. And do you get to learn with students from other healthcare programs? We do. Uh, for foundation year physio, we were actually with medicine for the first year, which was super cool. And then in future years, we're going to also be integrated with pharmacy and medicine again. And what does a typical schedule look like for a physio student? Well, because we were kind of a mid-COVID year, uh, we were in about three times a week. And on Tuesdays, though, you're going to have labs. And they're so fun. So it's a mixture of chemistry and biology. And so, yeah, you'll have a half day on Tuesdays. And how many people are in your physio class? So there's 25 in my class this year. And then next year, it'll increase to 40 because there'll be graduate students which will join, which have done different degrees. So do you have a part-time job or do you think you can balance that, your degree with a part-time job? Oh, you definitely can. I'm actually a drama teacher in a stage school. Oh, amazing. Thank you. So, a few random questions. Are you more of an introvert or an extrovert? Oh, definitely an extrovert. I mean, I've been performing since I was three, so I've been told I'm a chatterbox a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Because you're a kid. So, would you rather be too warm or too cold? Oh, I hate being too warm, definitely too cold. And um, what are three things that you can't leave the house without? Mm, probably, I think, my AirPods, a perfume, and earrings. Usually my hoops. I'm known for my hoops, but I switched it up today. <laughs> so, how much would you say that you study every week? Well, when you're coming up to exams, I would say every day. But you have to be, you know, looking at, out for that balance. But then when there's not exams, I'd say about three times a week. Um, what's the best way to relax after a long day? Oh, I just just get in bed and do nothing and call my favourite people. That's a good answer. So where can we normally find you on the weekends? On the weekends, I'm usually at my friend's house or probably in the town. Yeah, so can you tell us what your social life is like in RCSI? Oh, the social life is great. There's so many clubs and societies, and there's basically something for everyone. There's always events constantly going on, and there's like our Instagram page and everything that you can look at to see the events. And do you have any restaurant re recommendations for us? Oh, probably Sophie's Rooftop. So nice. Very good. So how about bars and clubs then? Clubs, I love going to clubs. Probably Swerve Mondays and Tramline actually going tonight. Very good. We'll find you there. Yeah. Uh, so if you were in charge of a playlist at a party, what is one song you'd definitely play? Oh, I have so many. Probably, probably Money Trees. Okay, so Instagram or TikTok? Oh, that's so hard. TikTok is more fun, but Instagram is more aesthetically pleasing. I get that. So 
What is your current lock screen? My you lock screen. Of course. Seeing. It is, let me see. It's basically lots of my favorite people. So like that's my little niece, some of my best friends, Thanks. me trying to cook. As I said, I can't cook. So yeah, that makes me happy. <laughs> So can you let us know where we are now? So now we are in Historic Quarter and loads of RCSI events are held here. As you can see, there's all the paintings. It's so, so beautiful. The big windows. So everything is just so nice here. I love studying. It's so peaceful. Uh, thank you. So what are you passionate about, can I ask? Passionate, well, obviously musical theatre and everything to do with like dance, but also something you might not know is I'm very passionate about environmental issues and I started up an environmental group called Planet Pals when I was nine. Oh, how do you have the time? <laughs> so, what's been your biggest achievement to date? Gosh, probably, hmm, there's a difference. So, my biggest achievement is probably I'm the youngest person to have unveiled a plaque for a female scientist, Lady Ranelagh, who is Robert Boyle's sister. And a big personal achievement is doing stuff for myself and not for other people. Wow. <laughs> Very impressive. Thank you. So, can I ask what your heritage is? Yeah, well, my dad is actually Sri Lankan and my mum is Irish, so I'm mixed. Very nice. So, do you speak any other languages? I speak a little bit of Sri Lankan. I'm not great. Um, Irish, and I definitely don't speak French. And if you could fly to anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would you go? Oh my gosh, probably, oh, top of my bucket list is Tokyo and I'd add Bali in there. Very good. So you just finished up your exams for foundation year. Yeah. How did you find them? I thought that they were really good actually. Again, all about that balance. All the lecturers are there to help you, like talk to your friends and there's so many resources. So happy to be on summer holidays though and be back in September. I'd say so. So how are you assessed, can I ask? So there's a mixture. So some of the exams are SNQ, some are MCQ, and some are both. This year they were on Examplify, which is like an online platform, and they're super easy and you can literally do them from the comfort of your own home. And which module was the toughest this year? Personally, I think Fun Chem, which was in semester one, just because I didn't do chemistry for the Leaving Cert, but as I said, all the lecturers are there to help you. Okay, so in terms of degree recognition then, will your physio degree be accredited once you graduate? Yep, it will. All the physio degrees, physio and medicine and pharmacy, are all accredited physio by the Chartered Board of Irish Physiotherapists. And do you know what you want to do with your degree after you graduate? I do. I really want to be a paediatric physiotherapist and set up a private practice because I just think working with kids is the most rewarding thing. You sound all set. <laughs> So what's one thing you're looking forward to at the moment? At the moment, probably seeing my family over in London. I haven't seen them in a few months and it's my little niece's birthday, so I have her present ready. Oh, happy birthday to her. <laughs> so can you describe your experience in ICSI so far in three words? Mm -hmm. I would say diverse, demanding, but rewarding. And if you could give any advice to anyone studying in physio, or planning to study physiotherapy at the moment, what would it be? I would say, just go for it. There, physiotherapy is so, so, so diverse. You can go into sports, you can go into pediatrics, geriatrics, and also manage your time really well, but that's super easy in a college like this. Great, so the last question, mm -hmm. where do you see yourself in 10 years time? To be honest, hopefully just happy. Very good. Great, well thank you so much. No Tanisha, problem, I'll see you out. Us around. Thanks so much guys. No worries. And best of luck. Thank you so much. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.